Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Zakaria Abbas from Bangalore. I'm speaking to you during extremely challenging times, times of disruption in our daily lives, a disruption which has caused grief to so many of us who have lost our loved ones, family and friends, and also to those who have lost financially. Let me reassure you first that we are all in this battle together. A lot has been said about COVID-19 pandemic with regards to the WHO guidelines and its precautions like maintaining social distancing, wearing a mask and also following sanitization. The big question arises, are we truly abiding by it? Are we truly being responsible? We need to understand that this battle can be fought by collective efforts. I also see a lot of people who are skeptical and scared to test in spite of having symptoms like cough, fever and breathlessness for more than three days. You need to understand that by doing this, you're not only risking your lives, but also the lives of your family, friends and neighbors. The only way to break the chain of infection is to follow the formula of five T's, which has been followed by all major countries who are in the battle to fight and eradicate coronavirus. And that is, we trace, we test, and we treat. And with teamwork, we track and monitor. This is the only solution to reduce the transmission of infection, to prevent the infection to spread out of bounds. This is my humble appeal to all the Anjumans, Idaras, organizations, and NGOs to kindly reach out to your local PBMP authorities who are doing an incredible job day in and day out with the support of our government. With so much focus on physical health, we often fail to take care of our mental health. Let me begin by saying that it is extremely natural to feel overwhelmed, anxious, and stressed. To list a few, most of us are depressed in view of loneliness. We are all anxious because of the fear of uncertainty. We are facing difficulty in adapting to the new situation. Most of us are having psychosomatic symptoms like nausea, vomiting, and headache. Some of us have insomnia, lack of sleep, and in extreme cases, some people are facing self-harm tendencies. How do we deal with this? Firstly, we need to reach out to our family, friends. And if there's a need, let us not hesitate to seek professional help. Let us eat healthy, let us exercise, let us sleep adequately. Let us practice self-care techniques and deep breathing exercises. Avoid watching news channels which are spreading fake news or exaggerated news. As we navigate our changed lives amidst grief, anxiety and despair, let us not forget the power each one of us possess and how together we will come out of it. Let us be human first. Let us choose love over hate. Let us stand for each other and let us reach out to those in need. Let us remember we will succeed and this success will belong to each one of us. We will be with our friends again. We will be with our family again. No doubt we may face difficulties, but brighter days are yet to come. With this, I would like to extend my warmest good wishes to one and all. Stay safe, stay strong, be responsible, and never lose hope.